Deer Creek Audio, your trusted technical resource. In this system spotlight, we will explore using a Flex HTX to build a TV-centric 5.2 home theater system. If you are not familiar with the Flex HTX, please watch our overview of Mini DSP Flex HTX using device console video before diving into this system spotlight. This system block diagram shows our TV-centric 5.2 home theater system. The signals are coming into the Flex HTX via HDMI eARC from the TV. The Flex HTX then completes all of the digital signal processing required to properly configure and calibrate our home theater system. In this example, we are using an Apple TV media streamer that receives and decodes either Dolby or DTS. The decoded audio video stream is then sent to our LG OLED TV. The LG TV sends 7.1 channel LPCM to the Flex HTX via HDMI eARC. We are using the Flex HTX to reconfigure 7.1 audio into 5.2 to be compatible with our home theater surround speaker system. Here, we've used the signal flow diagram to show how to route the 7.1 channel inputs for our home theater setup. Note that in the base management section, we have channel routing along with high and low pass filters. All of the splitting, filtering, and mixing is performed prior to the DIRAC PEQ page, so any DIRAC or PEQ room correction will occur as the final step. The default labeling here for the input channels is the standard convention for HDMI 7.1 channel LPCM. This represents the signals coming into the Flex HTX via HDMI eARC from the TV. The base management page is critical to our 5.2 home theater system. This is where we define which signals are routed to the subwoofers and where the high and low pass crossovers are set. In our 5.2 surround system, we will extract low frequency information from the left and right front speakers and also from the incoming LFE channel. These base signals are then combined into the base management channel that is later split out to two subwoofers. First, we enable the high and low pass filters for the left and right main channels. Next, we enable the low pass for the LFE channel. We've selected 100 Hz for the high and low pass on the front left and right speakers. And for the LFE low pass, we've selected 150 Hz to allow all of the signals to pass through. Then we will allow these channels to enter the base management channel by turning off the mute button. Typically, LFE channels have negative 10 dB programmed in, so we will add 10 dB to bring it up to the natural level. On the channel routing page, we are mixing and splitting the default 7.1 channels coming in over HDMI eARC to match the requirements of our 5.2 system. We are mixing the four surround and rear channels into left and right rear surround speakers and we also are splitting the base management channel to actively drive our two subwoofers. For a home theater setup, DIRAC is performed on each of the 5.2 output channels. A DIRAC project is initiated from the device console general settings and is a separate optional application. From the general settings panel, you'll select the 5.2 output channels on which to perform DIRAC. You also can use the 10-band full function PEQ with or without DIRAC to adjust frequency, gain, Q, and filter type individually. All the PEQ values can be adjusted in real time. The matrix mixer allows you to do final routing and mixing after DIRAC or PEQ processing and prior to the output channels page. In this example, it's a straight through with one exception. The third input is not used as the LFE channel is routed to the base management channel. The output channels page shows the signals we are sending to the power amplifiers and subwoofers to drive our actual hardware speaker and subwoofer configuration. Here, we set individual channel levels to ensure the system has a good, balanced sound with clear voices and tight, powerful bass. In this system, we have applied the following primary controls on each output channel. Crossover, delay, gain, and inversion. On the HDMI ARC page, you'll verify that your TV is sending 7.1 channel LPCM to the Flex HTX and that it is being properly received. If the program material being sent only contains two channel LPCM, or if your TV is only capable of sending two channel LPCM, you will see that here as well. 
You can download a blank signal flow diagram worksheet from the resources section of our website and use it to sketch ideas for your system layout before implementation. Be sure to visit us at DeerCreekAudio.com for more resources, tech blogs, and product details. Keep watching our YouTube channel for more video releases.